Hey y'all, how are you? My name is Gianna Schmieding. Um, I am a writer and the co-star of uh, the television series Rutherford Falls. Um, I'm Minakanju and Sichangu Lakota, and I'm also a um, um, enrolled member of the Cheyenne River Lakota Sioux Tribe. And I'm here to briefly talk to you all about the importance of finding a way to tell your authentic, unique, personal story. Um, when I was your age in school, I was really struggling my mental health. I was struggling with a lot of different aspects of being who I am. Um, <clears throat> I was really um, struggling with my body image and, um, you know, felt that I was undesirable. I felt that I, um, because of the way that I looked, um, I perhaps didn't deserve love and affection. And I, um, I decided early on to take those really hard feelings that I had and to turn it into poetry and uh, theater um, and music. And, um, you know, these are the ways that I, I, I found for myself that helped me to develop my ability in storytelling, um, which ended up serving me greatly um, as a young adult. I became very good at writing um, and, and speaking and performing because I felt that I had sort of these darker, harder things to say about myself um, that were very hard to express. Um, so I wanna encourage you to find a way whatever way is your way um, to tell your unique story. It's gonna be different than everyone else's. And there is room in this world for everyone's unique, authentic story. Um, not only that, but um, you will notice the more you practice telling your own story, uh, that when you come of age and you're in a you're in a, an industry or um, a field that you want access to, that your personal story is going to be the thing that people want to know about. Um, it will be the thing that brings you in. Um, so get to know yourself, get to know yourself deeply, get to know how you express your feelings best. Um, and um, take care. I love you. I'm rooting for you. I can't wait to hear your stories. Um, and thank you. Thanks, Jana. Hi, my name is Caitlin Rust, and I'm from the research organization Child Trends. Getting to know yourself, sharing your voice, and telling your story really can just be so engaging and connective and rewarding. It can bring you into new spaces and play such an important role in impacting your environment. And as a matter of fact, if you are interested in sharing your voice and shaping your future, we have just the opportunity for you. Hi, my name is Tanisha Sikakwaptu and I work for Child Trends. We, along with the Center for Native American Youth, have partnered with the Salt River Pima Maricopa Indian Community and your school to complete a study to learn more about how to make students feel safer, more supported, and included in their schools. We'd like to hear about your experiences at your school. The information in combination with what we learn from other students, parents, teachers, and school staff, such as counselors and principals, will be used to help us identify what is working well at your school and what, if anything, needs to improve. Our hope is that this project results in actionable recommendations for how schools and districts can do better to meet the needs of American Indian and Alaska Native students and families in the greater Phoenix area. But that won't be possible without hearing from you about your thoughts, feelings, and concerns. If you are interested in participating in the study, you can click the link below or reach out to a member of our study team at schoolclimate at childtrends.org or set up a time and ask any additional questions that you may have. Thank you, Ahiahet, Askali. We really appreciate your participation on behalf of Child Trends.